Uh, hello, Treasurenet. Uh, this is the Scat Man here. Um, and I was wondering if I might ask a favor of you. Uh, there's a section of Bradford Forest behind me right now that, uh, for the most part, is a fairly dense region of uh, short coniferous trees. Uh, it looks like um, they occur in somewhat regular rows, like they may have been planted there. Um, and I've always wondered about them. Uh, I understand that there's a lot of expertise on the forum um, regarding a wide variety of matters. So uh, if someone could please help me identify exactly what this area of forest uh, is or once was, I'd really appreciate it. I'm going <clears> to <throat> remove the camera here from the tripod and give you a tour. Excuse me just a moment. These trees are, uh, are flat-topped. <clears throat> you can see here how they uh, appear to occur in rows. It looks like other trees have uh, sprung up between them in the interim. Well, the trees uh, arch over the uh, forest floor here and create this sort of roofed over space. I don't know if you can see. I've always wondered about this area of forest. Um, I've collected some folk tales uh, that mention this place specifically. Um, I know it's the area where uh, the ghost of uh, Grandpa himself is supposed to appear. Um, and I've also been told that the uh, dens of the wolves are in here. Um, See how thick it gets in here. Pretty dim. This might sound pretty stupid, but uh Last night, I was uh, hiking in this area of the forest and uh, uh, with this um, dense region of trees off to my left and uh, I heard rustling in here and uh, what seemed like a pretty formidable growl and I uh, made a swift exit. I don't know what it could have been. Um, I've mentioned in my other videos that uh, more so than I imagine any uh, members of Treasure Net, I've been strongly affected by the stories of this area. I did grow up here. Um, you know, in a lot of what I was told, I took it face value being, being a child. See the sort of dense area right here? That's what I'm talking about. It's 
So while I understand, you know, that there's no danger here, except from other people, like hunters, for instance, or, uh, well, regular hunters and wound up crazy treasure hunters, um, you know, despite the fact that there is no danger, uh, and I imagine what I experienced could be easily explained. Um, still, the first thought that comes through my mind, or the first thought that goes through my mind when I'm out in the woods and I hear something like that, uh, especially in a place like this, uh, not just because of its appearance, but because of the stories um, I've heard about it. You know, uh, naturally, um, one's imagination tends to, you know, <clears throat> assign identities to what one hears that are probably not accurate identities, <laughs> to put it, to put it simply. So it seems rather unlikely that a uh, series of trees like this would just spring up in an isolated swath in the forest uh, of their own accord. Um, You know, at such regular distances from one another, it almost seems like they were laid out in rows or a grid. So, this is the area right here. To show you, the trees don't seem to be more than 10 to 20 feet in height any of them. And of course I will mark this location on a map in case anyone wants to come here and explore.